wanting to interview Councilman Mark Whitaker himself about what happened here. We sent him multiple emails to three different email addresses, left him voice messages at his home and office at Hampton University. We even went to his church and home, all to try to get you answers. But the man whose company is at the center of this lawsuit has not reached back out to us at all. Because the public... This was the first public work session and full city council meeting in Portsmouth since we first told you about the property on Greenwood Drive, which Councilman Mark Whitaker's company purchased and then defaulted on the loan. According to the lawsuit we were first to report on, New Bethel Development LLC also has not paid real estate taxes, stormwater and cleanup fees since 2009, running up a more than $200,000 tab. 13 News now went to Portsmouth City Hall to speak with Whitaker, but here his seat sits empty. Whitaker didn't show up. We wanted to ask what happened with his business that landed him in this lawsuit. As a city councilman, he would understand the importance of paying real estate taxes and fees. So we were hoping to find out why the elected official was not able to do that. We've already told you the court ordered a company to sell the property on behalf of the bank, but now we're learning in these new court documents we got here that even if the property sells, the net proceeds won't satisfy all the liens, so there'd still be outstanding debt. Generally, the bank would write off the balance, meaning it wouldn't be worth it to sue over the remaining loss. In this case, about $400,000. It's also important to note the court documents show the anticipated closing on the sale of the property isn't until the end of December, so things could still change. Back on Greenwood Drive, the folks left staring at this vacant lot of land are hoping for change. Whoever uh, is in charge of owning that place over there needs to do something about it. And of course, we will continue to try to get you answers from Councilman Mark Whitaker. Laura Geller, 13 News Now. Craig funding.